Hello, John Zimmerman with Tabla Class Math. And what I want to do here is just review some basic uh, polynomial factoring skills with you. This is such a critical subject in algebra that you really need to master this. So let's go through a couple basic exercises. I'll do the first one and explain it. And then you maybe you want to pause the video and see if you can do the second uh, problem. Or maybe you want to pause the video and see if you can do both of them. All right, so let's go ahead and do our first problem here, 2x plus 10. Okay, so the idea behind factoring, and let me just use a basic example here. Let's say if I have 10, I told you to factor 10. Well, you should build a, yourself a little factor tree, okay? And you're looking for the multiples of 10 or the factors of 10. Now, multiples or factors, when you multiply them together, you're going to get back to the original answer. You can see here that 2 times 5 will get us back to 10. Same idea with factoring polynomials. We're looking to break up the polynomial if we can. Now sometimes we can't. So we're looking to break up the polynomial into parts such that we multiply those parts together we get back to the original answer. So let's take a look at 2x plus 10. So how can I break this apart into two factors or two multiples such that when I multiply them together I get back to 2x plus 10? Well the answer is this. It's going to be 2 times x plus 5. Okay, and hopefully you recognize that when I multiply 2 times x plus 5, I get back to 2x plus 10, right? Because it's going to be 2 times x, okay, you're using a distributive property here, plus 2 times 5, which of course is 10, okay? So that's your answer. Well, let's kind of take a closer look at why this is the solution. So anytime you're factoring, you're looking for opportunities to factor out common multiples amongst these terms. So when, I, when I'm looking at 2x, the multiples or the factors of 2x are 2 times x, okay? And then the factors of 10 would be 2 times 5. So you can see here that I have a common factor of 2, okay? So anytime you have a common factor amongst terms, you can pull it out. You can do that using um, a grouping of parentheses, just as I did here. So what's left? Okay, well, when I factored out the 2, and I factored out the 2 from both terms, I'm left with an x, and I'm left with the 5, and that's what's inside your parentheses. Okay, see how that works? Because 2 times x will give me back to 2x, and 2 times 5 gives me back to 10. So that's the basic first thing you want to do when you're factoring polynomials, is look for opportunities to factor out greatest common factors or common factors. You want to remove them just as I did here. All right, so let's take a look at this problem now, giving you an opportunity to apply what you learned. So we have 3y minus 9. All right, so my first question to you, are there any common factors amongst 3y and 9? Okay, and this problem is very similar to the first one I just showed you. And of course there is. Okay, when I look at the factors of 3 and y, that's 3 times y, and the factors of 9 are 3 times 3. So I can factor out a 3. Okay, let's put that right here. Put a pair of parentheses like so. And what's left is, okay, use a better color here, a y and a 3. And of course, because this is a negative sign, I have to put a negative sign in between those two. So I'm going to have y minus 3. Okay, so these are the factors, okay, of 3y minus 9. So if your teacher says factor 3y minus 9, you're going to write 3 times y minus 3. Okay, because 3 times y is 3y, and then 3 times this 3 here is going to be 9 or negative 9. Okay, so just a couple basic exercises for factoring polynomials. You definitely need to master this stuff. And um, stay tuned. You either follow me on YouTube or come to tabletclass.com and take a free trial. But uh, I'm here to help, and have a great day.